today we're breaking out the AEA Zeus. Let me go over this thing real quick because this is far from stock. And a big thank you to Jim at Tech Someone Precision Pellet for hooking me up with a lot of those parts. So let's go over that real quick. First off, we swapped out the 72 caliber barrel for a 50 caliber. We replaced the stock cylinder on this with a 700cc carbon fiber tank. In order to make that possible, we have the carbon fiber bottle adapter from Texone Precision Pellet. Last but not least from Texone Precision Pellet is this metal Zeus body kit. The body kit comes standard with an AR grip and stock. I swapped out the AR-15 grip with this Boyd's wood grip. And I also replaced the stock with this Odin Works. For optics, we have a Trigicon ACOG 4X. And we also have a Magpul angled foregrip. Later on in the video, we're going to be using this Donny FL Emperor moderator and the extension tube. But first, we have some arrows that we got to run. I'm going to put this on after we finish up the arrows. I want to do some chronograph tests, maybe do a gel test, and then blow some stuff up, obviously. Before we get started, I just ask that if you enjoy this type of content, that you leave a like, maybe a comment, and possibly subscribe. That gives me a lot of feedback on whether or not I should continue these type of videos, so I'd greatly appreciate it. We will be tethered the entire time. I want it to be as consistent as possible. So let's sight in. I'm going to aim at that target. I think we shot a little bit too high. Let's aim lower and retry. All right, I'm not sure what's going on, but since we don't have too many of those arrows, I just want to shoot this at that target and see where we're hitting. All right, I think those arrows were going through the target completely. Let me put this on paper and get a chronograph reading. Then we're gonna do a gel test. 608 feet per second, 775 grain arrow, 636 foot pounds. Let's do a gel test real quick with one of these. Now I'm gonna destroy a cinder block. All right, gel test, here we go. See if I actually hit it, because I'm not sure. We hit it, but I skimmed it. So I'm gonna get a little closer and just make sure I hit it dead on. We were just a tad bit low. I'm gonna do one more, aim up higher. That one was a direct hit, but I can't really tell what happened to the gel other than there's pieces stuck in it. All right, center blocks up. Then I got some two by fours. I wanna see how many of this goes through. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. That has more power than some of the slugs that I put through this. That is nuts. I recovered the arrow from the center block. Unfortunately, it's missing the back or else I would have used it. We got six two by fours down there. Let's see how many this goes through. And I'm gonna switch over to slugs. We're gonna move on to these maxi ball rounds. I think these are 375 or 385 grain. Let's put these on the target and then do a gel test. All right, we got the man belly tripod out. Let's do top metal head shot. This will probably be a little bit low. Maybe a little bit to the left. All right, last one, top right head shot. Now that we're sighted in here, let's go to 55 yards and then we'll move to the gel test. I'm gonna aim for the tall middle headshot and just see where it falls. And it pretty much didn't fall. Let's do one more up there. That was a bit of a wild one. These are fitting in there a little rough though. All right, I'd say that's actually a pretty reasonable group. Let's do a gel test and we're gonna try some of the other ammo. Let's go check it out.
Up next with these 275 grain slugs from Texoma Precision Pellet. Let's do top left head shot. Let's do two more there. And we'll move to 55 yards. Let's do one more. We had a flyer. Okay. 55 yards is up. Let's do two more. Whoa, that was wild. All right, so these rounds through the Zeus 50 cal, not too great at this distance. We'll do one gel test and then we'll move on to the next rounds. Gel test, 275 grain rounds. Let's go check it out. So those last rounds didn't look as impressive as the first ones that went through the gel. Up next, we have these 380 grain penetrator rounds. Let's do the same thing. Put it on paper, 25, 55, gel test. Let's go for the far right center line. Oh, that's completely dead on. All right, I'm gonna set up the camera for 55 and I'll meet you there. Let's go for that left target, center bullseye. Pretty crazy how wild some of these rounds can be through different guns. This Zeus apparently really doesn't like those past 25 yards, so let's move on from those after we do the gel test. 380 green, gel test. Let's go check it out. Last but not least, we have these 235 grain hollow points. Let's put those on paper in the gel. Let's do the neckline. I adjust the scope, let's move on to 55 yards. So let's aim, same top middle head shot. Now it looks like we're gonna be sticking with those 235 grain hollow points the rest of the day. Although I may break out some of the other slugs when we're doing some destruction tests. I'll break out another cinder block and then paver, brick, whatnot and we'll see the different results between the pellets. Gel test, 235 grain hollow point. Let's go check it out. Some people in the comments have criticized the effectiveness of some of these hollow points with the air guns. Well, that thing absolutely pancaked. That is just incredible though. We got some sodas out. Let's do some slow-mo. I'm gonna try and grab some different angles. Change things up a little bit. All right, I swear, sodas have to be one of the best reactive targets. You fire into it, and then once you hit the soda, it's like a second gunshot goes off. It's just spectacular, and just everything sprays everywhere. Let's try the dueling tree, just see if this slaps that around really well. So the Zeus effectively slaps those steels. Let's move on to this water jug that I have. Then we're gonna finish off with a cinder block. All right, we got the extreme penetrators. Let's shoot this in the bung of the five gallon water jug. Direct bung hit right in the bottom. Came out here, blew the lid off. I was hoping for more of a reaction, but maybe I should use the hollow points, not sure. Let's do a brick and a paver though. Extreme penetrators. Well, we already expected that, so no surprise there. That was honestly a surprise. That's better. All right, let me just grab a center block real quick and we'll finish this up. Zeus versus center block. 
It's kind of crazy that the arrow destroyed that in one hit. <laughs> and that's going to wrap things up with the Zeus featuring the 50 caliber barrel from Texoma Precision Pellet. I want to whip this thing out at least three more times for some long form videos. I'll bring it out more if people like the videos. I just need some feedback, but I want to do 58 cal slugs, 72 cal my shot shells and the new shot shells from Texoma Precision Pellet. And then I have to break this out with a 72 cal barrel for slugs in its original form because I've never really done a long form video, at least not a legitimate one with the original barrel. So I'm really looking forward to those videos. All right, see ya.